I bought this Bytor knife sharpening system on Amazon. Let's have a look in the box. It was very cheap, uh, about $45 uh, shipped. So it looked like it might be good value. Comes with a set of uh, safety gloves. Can't cut yourself. Uh, a leather strop, the old uh, barber style strop. We've got uh, a leveling stone and I'll talk a little bit more about this later. Uh, but it uh, should have been in that video, you can see probably what I'm going to talk about. There's a, a guide to get the angles right on the knife, uh, an agura stone for cleaning the, the water stones. Quite a, quite a neat little stone. Uh, the common old garden variety uh, blade adapter for uh, a jig for um, plain blades and chisels. Another leather. Uh, strop, uh, some rouge to put onto those strop, and uh, a reasonable uh, fold out user's manual, quite actually quite decently put together, and uh, not too many questions when you look at that. So now down at the stones, they come with a a little silicon pad for them to sit in. There's a 400 and 1000 double sided stone and uh, a second stone which is 4000 and 8000. And another guide. Not sure why I ended up with two guides, but I've been just lucky. I think they're both the same. Here's the second stone. Sorry, it was. 3,000 and 8,000, not 4,000. And uh, a reasonably decent little bamboo base uh, to sit the stone in while you're using it with a non-slip, nice non-slip base. Works quite well. And again, just a view of the instruction manual and some of the components to it nice visuals and then the, the typing's all pretty clear. There's even an email there if you need to contact the company which is quite uh, quite good, quite unusual. And I'm probably going to have to use that email so we'll see how it goes. So just a quick uh, look at the jig, jig for the blades. Uh, the writing on this is pretty hard to read, It's it's the casting's pretty average. Uh, bevel edge chisel this one uh, fits in pretty well, it holds it reasonably tight uh, but as you'll see when I try to put a smaller square inch chisel in uh, that's when the struggles begin. I didn't have a plain blade to try in it but I, I think it'd probably be probably okay. But it's yeah, nothing to write home about but if you don't have one it, it's probably handy enough. And here's the, the little 6mm chisel which has uh, got square sides on it and it just will not hold that at all so yeah probably not the end of the world the other thing with this uh, jig is the wheel's quite uh, loose and floppy on it so I'm not quite sure it's, it's an, an alloy of some description I'm not quite sure how that, long that'll last we're now moving on to the levelling stone and uh, the, the edges the ridges around the edge are pretty easy to take off on that stone I just used a, a a normal file and, and just lightly passed it over and you can see those high ridges that were on that stone came off pretty quickly but I'm not going to fix this at any time uh, soon it's quite out of square it's it's, it's quite uh, bowed along its length and you can see here just how much and that was probably obvious in that earlier shot when I took it out of the box anyway let's move on to give it a try and I've got to say this is the first time I've ever sharpened a knife on a stone. Uh, this is uh, a rank amateur at work here so don't take any notice of the technique. I'm trying to follow the instructions on the, on the card that came with the kit and uh, I work my way up through the four stones and uh, it, it's, it's using that bamboo offset uh, stand makes it quite easy. Keeping the stones wet with just a little bit of water. Uh, they have obviously been soaked 
uh, for the uh, 10 minutes that they recommend and there were no bubbles coming out so pretty sure those were reasonably wet and here I'm just finishing off running the Nagura stone over the uh, 8000 giving it a quick uh, clean and uh, just finishing off a little bit more water and we do the final passes didn't bore you with all the uh, intricacies of the four different stones it's uh, it's the normal process that uh, those that know what they're doing would uh, would observe then a bit of rouge on the on the leather pad yeah, it's not as flat as, as you might think by the looks of the rouge uh, we just uh, pass the knife over again a bit of hone on that run that through fairly this is all sped up of course just so I don't bore you and a uh, bit of clean and then we'll uh, do the usual way of testing no I didn't try and shave my arm with it but I did use a piece of paper and surprise surprise this really cheap old kitchen knife which was heading for the bin is pretty sharp so there you go it's uh, it actually works it's a shame about this leveling stone but I can get around that with a sheet of glass and, and some wet and dry and I'll see what the uh, manufacturer says about this it'll be quite interesting to get their feedback and uh, I'll put it in the comments if indeed I do get any feedback from them so thanks for watching and we'll catch you again soon